Julius Caesar is, by any definition, a successful Roman general and politician. In a series of brilliant campaigns, he has defeated many Gallic tribes and brought new lands into the Roman Empire. His Roman legionaries, veterans of many battles, take pride in their skill and valor. Vercingetorix, the leader of the Avernii tribe, has revolted against Roman rule. For once, Caesar has been overtaken by events, forced to react rather than forge his own destiny. It is now one year later, and the rebellion is not yet crushed. At Jagovia, the Gauls are ready, watching the Roman army on a nearby hill. Wary of being ambushed, Caesar has sent Roman legionaries to the far side of Jagovia to watch for any encircling enemies. But the Gauls are equally suspicious and send their entire army to watch over the marching Romans. Too far from the main army to allow reinforcement, the small Roman detachment is ambushed and destroyed by Gallic warriors. Seeing that the Gauls have abandoned their camp, Caesar orders his troops towards the fort. As the news of Caesar's attack reaches the Gauls, they move to counter the Romans. And Caesar, in turn, recognizes the new danger and sounds the retreat. But the legions appear not to have heard their new orders. Instead, the Romans charge the fort. Caesar's men suddenly find themselves on dangerous ground, surrounded by angry Gauls. The ram must be protected if the Romans are to take the fort. Perhaps then the tables can be turned on the barbarians. <laughs> 